Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the third term. An extremely exciting time as we return to school to prepare for what is going to be um, certainly um, a time of uh, uh, unity and togetherness in this third term of WIPs. Our theme for the year continues to be what a wonderful world. And uh, to that, we add the theme for the term, which is exploring our dreams, expanding the universe. And I believe that this will fit in perfectly with how we want to see um, you children at WIPs, you boys of WIPs, uh, grow and develop and expand your dreams. Uh, I think it's a time to really explore and have fun together as we learn and we play together. I now want to share my assembly with you and um, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint uh, that you hopefully will enjoy. Thank you. As we welcome you back into the term, it so happens to be the 1st of September, uh, and so I wish you all a happy spring day. Um, and although it's a bit cold today, um, as we look outside at the beautiful trees, they are absolutely magnificent in full blossom and the leaves are uh, coming out, uh, the grass is turning, uh, a lovely green. And in our, um, in our gardens, our plants are blossoming. Uh, we have uh, the jasmine smelling and uh, coming out with all sorts of different aromas that are wonderful. And, and certainly the clivias are in full blossom. So I thought I'd share some of those uh, pictures with you. Um, but I'd like to introduce our theme for the term by playing this short video clip to you. Uh, please watch it carefully and enjoy it.
as we come back together at this beginning of our third term, I want to encourage you to have hope for the future, to explore your dreams and expand your universe. Our theme for the year has been what a wonderful world. And for a long time now, four months, five months, we have been um, looking inward and um, staying apart from people. And we need to continue to social distance. However, we do need to explore our dreams and not put a lid on them, expand um, our, our focus on the greater universe and certainly spend some time. Think big and achieve bigger. And I want to see uh, boys, teachers, uh, staff members, parents, really dreaming and, and, and growing their involvement um, from a social distance point of view, but at the same time, uh, do not cap your dreams. And now I'd like the registered teachers uh, to write uh, what is your hope in your class for the term? Write it um, on the board, write it in big bold letters, and then um, obviously each uh, boy or girl can't write up on the, on the board, but uh, choose a single person to write each person's um, hope for the third term. Um, and I can't wait to come round to your classrooms and have a look uh, at your board so I can and read what you've said. Um, I'm so proud of each and every one of you for having expanded your horizons during the period of the COVID-19 crisis. It's been difficult to do, but you have done extremely well. Despite the fact that we have been restricted, uh, we have also learned a lot. We've learned to expand the universe and expand our minds and our hearts. So I want to encourage you uh, today for the term to continue to learn, continue to grow, continue to remain positive at all times, continue to reach out and help others, and certainly continue to dream. So as I put out that challenge to you to write up your hope for, for the term, I ask that we now pray. Dear Lord God, may the sunlight and the rain be reminders that you are at work renewing the earth. As a God of renewal, you are ever at work in our lives too. Open our eyes and lives to the needed changes in our lives this spring. Awaken us to new life and perspective. Help us to continue exploring our dreams and expanding our universe. We ask this in your Son's name, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Boys and, uh, and the Whippet girls uh, and, and families who are watching this assembly, uh, we announced our scholarship winners in the newsletter at the end of last term, and we're particularly proud of all these boys. Um, Asante, Alistair, Malusi, Luke, and Matlatsi, all announced at the end of last term. Um, unfortunately, we weren't informed by St. John's um, at the time, um, but Mila um, has won a, a music exhibition award to St. John's College, and we are certainly very proud of all six of these boys. Um, they have gone through a process of interviews and auditions um, and exams in, in some cases, and I congratulate each and every one of them. I wish them well in their high schools and be particularly proud of, of all of them. So uh, best wishes go with these um, grade seven boys when they do move on to their high school, uh, but congratulations to one and all. And then congratulations must also go to Lucejo, Jethro and Mila again who was selected to submit an entry to perform in the ABRSM Global High Score, uh, Scorer Concert, which is based on the ABRSM Practical Exam Results Awarded in 2019. The Global ABRSM High Scorers Concert is a virtual concert series 
aim to unite all ABRSM candidates from around the world through the power of music. And um, we, uh, the boys had to um, perform, the clip was taken, the video clip was taken, and now I'm going to share those with you and I hope that you enjoy these music video clips. Enjoy. Thank you very much to Lesejo, Jethro and Mila and congratulations to you three boys. Um, that was wonderful to listen to. I, in conclusion today, want to make a few announcements and some appeal to you um, as members of the school. Uh, first of all, um, boys and girls, um, we are very concerned that the COVID-19 pandemic is still very much part uh, of our existence, of our experience in our country, uh, in our city and in our school. And so we will be uh, asking you to continue with your social distancing. I ask that you do not um, take play dates at the moment, that you do not socialize uh, excessively in um, a way that will endanger you and by endangering yourself, you endanger your friends here at school and you endanger your parents and your grandparents. Um, so I trust that you will continue to do that. Uh, then this morning, I was um, most impressed with uh, the majority of boys as they returned with uh, extremely good manners. I was greeted as boys got out their cars and walked across into the school. It was wonderful to see so many boys returning. Um, but unfortunately, there were always some boys who might be a little shy and um, maybe felt that they uh, were a bit nervous. Um, and one or two teachers said that some of the boys dropped their heads and didn't greet. And I want to remind you uh, that good manners uh, is about greeting and saying good morning and engaging. It's not just um, shouting out, sir or ma'am it's engaging and so I encourage you to do that um, as well as you possibly can. I also want you to make the very best of the term uh, work-wise, make sure that you put energy into your academics and I encourage you to always give of your very best in everything that you do. 
Um, I must say that um, uh, I was pleased that um, the protocols this morning were observed with uh, washing or sanitizing your hands. Uh, but I want to ask that boys um, remind their parents that they need to stick to the times allocated for the grade. Uh, please do not be uh, at school earlier than your allocated time. Please stick to the, the allocated time. Don't be later than the allocated time. And um, please make sure that your QR cards, uh, codes are displayed. Please, uh, gentlemen, make sure your parents have them in their car. Um, it slows up the process. And this morning, we did have a backlog of cars. I do think that it will get better tomorrow as people um, improve. Uh, but please make sure that, um, that you follow the protocols carefully. Do not um, waste time in the car park and sit in the car. Um, obviously, those boys who are here before 7 o'clock, it's a problem for us because our teachers aren't in the classroom. And I want to make sure that everybody's looked after. So you may not enter the school uh, until uh, 7 o'clock uh, on the dot. Then I want to remind you to, I sent out letters yesterday explaining uh, the dress code from the 7th of September, that's uh, next Monday. So on the 7th, you'll be wearing school uniform. But because of the different activities of phys ed and movement, um, you will be required to wear different forms of that uniform. That is explained carefully in the letter. There's a table explaining exactly on which day which uniform is used. Um, together with uh, uniform and dress regulations come haircuts. Um, even though we are wearing civvies, I expect uh, normal uh, regulation haircuts that uh, has always been part of our school. And I am going to be requesting that boys who haven't um, um, sorted out their hair in this ma manner will do so uh, as soon as possible, and certainly by the end of this week, it is rectified. Um, I also want to um, encourage boys uh, to, to take time to reach out and involve uh, their friends. Inclusion, um, being friendly, and uh, taking care of each other is very much part of what WHIPS gentlemen do. Uh, finally, I'd like to welcome Mrs. Marina de Villiers um, as our new Afrikaans teacher and registered class teacher in grade five. Uh, Mrs. de Villiers joins us for the term uh, after Mrs. Cliffstra left, and I want to uh, welcome her, and I hope that she's very happy. Uh, Mrs. de Villiers had two sons through our school, and her husband is also an old boy, uh, so she's very familiar with the school, but we we welcome her um, for the third term, and I hope you are happy here, Mrs. De Villiers. Uh, finally, to each and every one of you, the staff, uh, the, the children, and our parents, I hope that you have a uh, fulfilled, uh, dream-filled um, term, and that you really um, finish and close off 2020 on a high note. Welcome back. Thank you.